Hey everyone, welcome to Monday. It is about six o'clock in the evening and I've just come out for a little bit of a walk after finishing work. It is so hot. Oh my goodness, we're going through a bit of a heat wave in the UK at the moment and I made the mistake of putting on jeans this morning. Would not recommend. But yeah, um, I'm gonna head home in a minute and start packing because tomorrow me and my mum and my sisters are heading down to Devon for a few days. So my mum's booked a holiday home chalet type thing on the beach. It's my little sister's birthday. So yeah, we're just gonna get away, get away for a few days, um, hopefully go to the beach. And I'm hoping it's gonna be nice weather, but the last time I checked the forecast, apparently we're gonna have thunderstorms. So that's gonna be interesting. I'm not sure how much reading I'm gonna get done while I'm down there, but I thought I'd do a little bit of a vlog, show you what we get up to. And yeah, hopefully it will be good. <laughs> so it's a little bit later and please excuse my hair I know it looks an absolute mess but um, I wanted to just pop on quickly to have a chat about the last book that I read which was The Places I've Cried in Public by Holly Bourne this is a young adult contemporary fiction novel it tells the story of a girl called Amelie who has just gone through a breakup with her boyfriend Reese, and she's feeling quite sad and she decides to go back and revisit all of the places that he made her cry and in doing so she starts to reflect and learn and realise that actually maybe the relationship wasn't quite as healthy as she thought it was and this book broke me oh my goodness like I cried I think that it is so well written and I think that it's essential for any teenager or young adult to read and learn what an unhealthy and emotionally abusive relationship looks like. There's obviously quite a few trigger warnings for this book that I'll leave down below because um, it does deal with things like sexual assault and rape and gaslighting, emotional abuse, which at times are really, really quite difficult to read about but I think that Holly Bourne is a great author and I really want to read some more of her books. Good morning, it is now Tuesday. Uh, I finished packing, finally. Um, my mum's picking us up in about 10 minutes. It's about a three to three and a half hour drive down to Devon, so we should get there around lunchtime. But I'm just having a look through my Kindle, trying to decide what I might want to read this week. I've got it whittled down to, I think, two, and I might have time for both, we'll see. But I'm thinking The Switch by Beth O'Leary, because the last book I read was quite sad. So I'm hoping this one's going to be a little bit more uplifting. But I read The Flat Share last year and really, really enjoyed it. It was one of my favourite books of last year. But I've heard mixed reviews on her latest one, so I'm not sure. If you've read it, let me know. My other option is The Hunting Party by Lucy Foley, which is more of a thriller. And I read the guest list early this year and I liked it, but I think I gave it three stars. Like it was good while I was reading it, but I don't know, there was just something about the story that just didn't quite click with me. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna decide once I get down there. So we got down to Devon about quarter past one this afternoon, but our room wasn't going to be ready until four. So we just headed to the beach for a few hours, which was really nice. Uh, I made a start on my book. So I did decide to go for The Switch by Beth O'Leary. And it was a lot sadder to start with than I was expecting. Basically, if you don't know the story, it's about two women, Lena, who is kind of mid to late 20s and lives in London and her grandma Eileen, who is late 70s and lives in Yorkshire, and they decide to switch lives for two months. And yeah, so far it's all right, it's it's a bit slow. So I'm hoping now I've just got to the bit, I'm about 20% of the way through where they've decided to actually swap lives. So I'm hoping that it will pick up from now. But yeah, enjoying it so far. So I thought I'd do a little bit of an update because I'm about halfway through the switch. And you know what? I'm really, really enjoying it. Like it's perfect for what I need right now. It's a little bit light-hearted, quite funny, and I really, really like the characters, especially Eileen. There's one scene in particular where one of Lena's friends is trying to explain what a dick pic is, and oh my goodness, it is 
hilarious. I love it when a book can just make you laugh out loud. I'm making really good progress on it because it's just so easy to read. I think I might actually finish it tomorrow and then my plan is to make a start on the hunting party. Um, so yeah, that's a bit of a change of pace because that's more of a thriller, but I'll let you know how it goes. Good morning. It is now Wednesday. It's the 12th of August and it's a bit of a weird day today because it's the one year anniversary of when I finished chemo. For those of you who don't know, I was diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma in February last year and I'm now in remission. But yeah, feels a little bit weird, but I'm going to try not to think about it too much. We're going to head out, spend the day on the beach. My sisters want to do a bit of surfing and I'm hoping to get a bit more reading done. So the weather's not looking too grey, but I can see a little bit of blue sky. So hopefully it will hold out. So I finished The Switch by Beth O'Leary. It was really good. If you're looking for something to read like on the beach or on holiday, then I definitely recommend it. So I'm gonna make a start on The Hunting Party by Lucy Foley next. We're gonna be on the beach for another few hours, so I should be able to get a good start on it. So I'm about 24% of the way through The Hunting Party now, and I think it's still a bit too early for me to say how I feel about this book. It's basically about a group of friends who have known each other over 10 years since they were at uni, and they've all gone away together to this remote hunting lodge in the middle of Scotland and one of them has basically turned up dead. It's flicking back and forth between various perspectives, kind of back and forth in time. So we're not sure who is dead yet, we're not sure who did it, it's a bit of a murder mystery. But yeah, I'm going to read some more of it this evening and hopefully it will pick up the more I get into it. So I'm about 50 to 60% of the way through the hunting party now and it's definitely got a lot better. I like the mystery element of it. I like that we still don't know who the victim is. We still don't know what's happened, but it's very slow paced. And in some ways that's fine because we're getting to know each of the characters, but I don't really like any of them. I think it's going to be one of those where my opinion could change right at the last minute. It really needs a few good twists now. It's been hinted that some of the characters have these secrets that we don't know about yet. So it'll be interesting to find that out. I am enjoying it. I don't know, maybe I'm just really, really picky when it comes to thrillers. I think because I read so many of them it has to be something special just to grab my attention i think our plan for today is to get up head out we're going to go to a place called baggy point which is meant to be this beautiful coastal walk not far from where we're staying it's my sister's birthday as well so we're going to have cake later which i'm looking forward to and then maybe just spend the last few hours of the day on the beach So my mum is making a vegan birthday cake for my sister and I just wanted to share this tip for anyone who doesn't know because Betty Crocker cake mix is actually vegan. You just replace all of the wet ingredients with a can of Coke or a can of lemonade, any fizzy pop will do. You need about 300 mils and you mix it all together, pop it in the oven, bake according to the instructions and when it comes out you'll have a delicious vegan cake. So it's a little bit later now and I've finished the hunting party so I wanted to just quickly record my thoughts while they're still fresh in my mind and it, it's okay it's a solid thriller I'd probably give it about three stars maybe three and a half but maybe that's a bit generous the pace definitely picked up the more that I got into the story and the more that I got to know the characters but I think my main issue is that it was just like reading the guest list I think that if you're trying to decide between the two of them maybe have a look at the summary and just decide which story kind of interests you more because they're basically exactly the same but yeah we haven't got much plan now for the rest of this evening I think we're just looking at to get a takeaway and then maybe watch a film and get an early night. We've got to check out of here by about 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. So we're going to head straight home. It's about a three and a half hour drive. So we should get back about half one. Hi everyone, I'm back from Devon now. And I just wanted to say a huge thank you if you've watched the vlog this far. I really enjoyed filming it so I'm hoping that you'll enjoy watching it. If you've read any of the books that I mentioned in this vlog then please do leave me a comment down below and let me know what you thought of them. Remember to give it a like, click subscribe and I'll hopefully see you in the next video. Bye!